So thank you for doing this. I really appreciate it. Oh, my pleasure. So your character was a rookie mm -hmm. on Major Crimes, and you were a rookie as well. Um, did you did that overlap in any way? Oh, absolutely. I mean, I'm new to this whole TV world. I come from the world of Broadway and theater. So, um, yeah, learning the ropes um, was definitely as much of a part of my life as Kieran as it was uh, Amy Sykes. Absolutely. I called someone the first day. I didn't know what D-O-O... -O what's a dude? I said, it's a day out of day, you silly theater girl. So I, uh, I kind of learned as I, as I went along. So what did you do on Broadway? What uh, I, 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 did a, I did a lot of Broadway musicals. Uh, I did Lion King, Sweet Charity, Guys and Dolls, Judy Judy Benjamin. I, I was there a long time. I'm older than you think. <laughs> I'll leave it at that. <laughs> Moving right along. Okay. Do you think you're a role model for girls? Oh, I hope so. I have two daughters myself. Um, they're a little young, obviously, to be watching the show. They don't see it, but um, I would absolutely hope so that um, girls can watch this and know that, um, you know, having Mary and I up there um, leading the show and, and showing more strength in my character would absolutely show them that, you know, there's, there's a place for women in any career in any field, and it's not just delegated to, you know, housewives and school teachers, that you can really get out there and make a, a huge difference uh, in other ways. So, absolutely. How are the athletic scenes? Because you do a lot of the the running and, and, yeah. and uh, chasing. Yeah, no, they're, they're great. I mean, luckily, I'm I'm uh, pretty fit, so uh, for me, it's fun. Um, you know, to uh, they like to get like a stunt double, and I usually say no. Well, I always say no, and sometimes they let me get away with doing it myself. Um, sometimes they have someone else come in, but that's only for insurance purposes. Um, but they're fun. They're really they're really exciting. I mean, who gets to do that in real life? You know, usually I, we're running away from from danger. It's kind of fun to run into it, right? Have you ever talked with any female LAPD to kind of get a, an idea of where you want to go with your character? Yeah, absolutely. Um, we do a lot of things here with GW's charity, Sunshine Kids, and a couple times a year the LAPD comes in um, for various reasons. So, yeah, I've actually had a lot of time to spend chatting with them about, um, you know, how it feels to be a woman in the squad. Um, that it really is kind of, you feel like there is a brotherhood there, and there, there is definitely a time where you have to kind of, um, you know, show that you're worthy of being there, but once you're in, you're just like one of the guys. Um, so that's been, been really interesting, yeah. Do you think that happened with your character too, that Absolutely. when you kind of came on board? Absolutely. They kind of gave me the, uh, the look over and said, oh, okay, we'll let her prove herself. And, uh, and I think she did. I think, I think she's made them proud, and she's definitely shown that she's uh, capable of, of being part of the group. Because originally, when you came in, you were kind of a kiss... Uh huh. And now it looks like they respect you. I mean, so do you think your character Absolutely. evolved from? Oh, sure. I mean, obviously the writing is, is phenomenal, and so it's it's kind of all there in the writing. And uh, James is a sneaky little fellow. He he does that on purpose. So, um, you know, you kind of go in and go, oh, I don't know about her. And he really navigates the trail of making you kind of find someone and then kind of fall for them. You know, it's a relationship when you add a character into a group like that. So, um, yeah, I do think he did a great job um, of kind of making people go on the little journey of learning with me and be proud of me. So that's really, really been nice. What do you want the viewers to get out of your character? Oh, gosh. Um, you know, I guess it depends on the viewer. I've met, like, 13-year-old girls that are, yeah, really into the fact that there's, you know, gun toting and female that's, um, you know, doing her thing on TV. I hope that, you know, there's something for them to look up to and aspire to. Um, and then, you know, for everyone else, um, I hope, especially now and in the last couple of seasons, that uh, I didn't jar anyone so much that, you know, having a new person on the squad, I, I would hope that they feel like I just kind of fit in with everyone else and, and really add something to the, to the squad. Um, I think you'll see more of this season than ever and hopefully next season that she really um, starts to take a leadership role and um, maybe solve a few of the cases. Mm. Yeah, we'll I was going to ask you, where would you like your character to evolve to? Um, I think Amy wants to be right up there at the chain of command with, with Raider, so we'll see where that goes. Um, you know, I don't think she came in here just to kind of sit idle at her desk or, or kind of stay neutral. I think she's going to try to push to the top, so we'll see. I don't know. James doesn't really give us any hints until, <laughs> until the read through, so who knows. Is it hard on you, some of the scenes? I mean, because major crimes sometimes has some really major crimes. Mm -hmm. is, is, do you ever 
say like, oh my, I this is like really rough to have to um, I think deal with some this. of the children scenes, you know, if there's anything with kids, um, that's really tough. And I don't know if it's on purpose or if it was by accident, but a lot of the, or all of the scenes actually because I've been here that involve like small children or if, if any, I haven't been in any of those. Um, and I don't know if that was done, you know, to kind of protect me, but that I think would be the hardest because I have small children. Um, to see any of that, but for the rest of it, I mean, when you watch the girls scuffle around with bottles of, you know, fake blood, and it kind of loses its uh, <laughs> scare <laughs> tactic, scare appeal, I guess. It's not so scary, so. That and the fake vomit is just disgusting, but other than that, I can handle pretty much all of it. <laughs> do, you, do you ever feel, because I know, like, sometimes I've interviewed people that have done police procedurals. They say they want to speak for the victim. Mm. Do you do you feel that? Do you want to show that through your character that you you want to speak for the, the victims uh, yeah, uh, everywhere? Yeah, I think the show uh, does a great job of um, not only speaking for and through the victim, but speaking through the killer. Because everyone is still a person. You know, they may have some sort of mental illness. They may have you know, they may just be a complete lunatic. However, it's still a person, and they're, they're, everyone is made human in this show, whether it be the victim or, or the suspect or the suspects or the family. Um, so, yeah, I mean, I guess it depends really on the case. You know, um, obviously when I did episode four, um, we had the military, um, the female military soldier that had been, you know, raped in Afghanistan. Yes, absolutely do you want to speak through her. Were those scenes actually easier in a way because... It, it was so close to something that could really, you know, happen. And, and she was a female. Having another female on the show was really great. Um, yes, I guess it just, yeah, it depends on, on the case. When you came in from, because you weren't in the closure. So when you came in, did you feel like person out in a sense because they kind of were? Um, no, absolutely, 100% no. I, it was as if I came in the first day and they like they do with everyone else here. They are the most welcoming group of people you've ever met. When I bring anyone, I just had my nieces here yesterday and my sister-in-law, and they were like, everyone's so nice. Are they always like this? And I wanted to say, no, it's just for you. But <laughs> the truth is, it wasn't. They are just that warm and welcoming. And it was as if I was like a long-lost sister, and they found me, and here I am. So, no, I've always felt like it was meant to be. Did, is, did your Broadway training help you in any way for the show? Only when I do party tricks. Off, off, um, off camera. No, no, it didn't. Um, <laughs> I mean, I, I guess discipline-wise, you're used to working out long hours, and um, you kind of just do what you're told. It's you know, there's no kind of um, ego on Broadway, I'd say. Um, so yeah, I guess in that way. And but uh, it's a it's a different beast here, the TV world. So. Which uh, do you plan on going back to Broadway, or are you just not anytime okay. soon? I'm, I'm going to enjoy being here, and uh, we've moved here now, my whole family, so uh, I'm here if something popped up, maybe, but uh, I'm, I'm really enjoying TV life. <laughs> Would you ask to be, like, sing a song or something on the show? Because I know sometimes they do that. Um, no, I, James mentioned something about a murder on a cruise ship, and I was <laughs> like, I don't know about that. Um, so, yeah, of course I would, in a heartbeat, in a heartbeat. Is there anything you want the viewers, your fans, to know that I haven't asked? Oh, uh, hmm, I don't know. I think James has done a pretty good job of showing a lot of uh, sides of Amy. So, no, I think I'm good. All right. Well, thank you very yeah. much. I appreciate thank it. You. And Crime Spree. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Nice thank to you. Meet you. Same here. Thank you.